Not so long ago, Blackpool were in the Premier League, but with a fortnight to go to the new season, the Championship side has just eight players and has had to cancel pre-season matches. The club's president has written to two of his co-owners, accusing them of paying themselves tens of millions of pounds. Channel 4 News has commissioned a forensic accountant to investigate the club's finances and can reveal that vast sums of money have been moved from the club to several of their other businesses. Kieran Jenkins reports. From the sheds and porter cabins of Blackpool's training base, just eight first-team players emerge. Three short of a full team, three weeks before the new season. Intriguing even in the surreal world of professional football, because Blackpool aren't a poor club, far from it. A few new arrivals today, definitely. Yeah. Die-hard fans peering through the fence are unimpressed. How do you feel in your gut? Sick. Sick. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, it is it's, it, it's, it is. it's sick. It's yeah. sickening and it's embarrassing. What's gone so wrong? Mr. Oyston. The chairman? Definitely, yeah. We, we just don't know what, what, he's, what he's playing out. We don't know whether he's out to upset supporters or... We just don't... We don't understand the guy at all. Well, this is Carl Oyston, Blackpool FC chairman, subject of so much supporter anger. But he's only half the story. More people come to Oyston's to sell their home than to any other estate agent in the north. The other half is Carl's father, Owen Oyston. He bought Blackpool in the 80s after making a fortune selling houses. There followed a very real fall from grace when he was jailed for rape in the late 90s. He remains the club's majority shareholder. But just a few years ago, things were looking up for Blackpool. A surprise promotion brought one season in the Premier League and unprecedented riches. All that money, but at the club's centre of excellence, it's not just the spelling that leaves much to be desired. Quite frankly, these don't look like the training facilities of a team that was in the top flight just three seasons ago. Nor a club that's received tens of millions of pounds in payments from the Premier League to adjust to life in the lower divisions. Fans hoped that money would secure this club's future. Instead, they're left asking the question, where on earth has all that money gone? As the Premier League money has been flowing in, Channel 4 News has learnt that huge sums have been flowing out of Blackpool Football Club. Its destination, other businesses owned by the Oyston family. Unsecured interest-free loans worth tens of millions have been made to the club's holding company, Segesta Limited, owned by Owen Oyston. In turn, Segesta has loaned several million to a string of other Owen Oyston companies. We asked a forensic accountant to go through the books. It has the appearance that the club is being run purely for the benefit of Mr. Oyston. When one company in the group, which is this case is the football club, is profitable, that money gets channeled up to the holding company and from there expenditure is spent on a whole raft of his, his related companies. So tens of millions of pounds have gone out to his related companies. Three years ago, the club also made an eye-catching £11 million payment to a service company run by Owen Oyston. None of this is illegal, and there's undoubtedly been some investment in the club, not least in improving the stadium. Some people would say, good riddance, there's a lot of money sloshing around in football. We can never really know where it all goes, and this is just one more example of that. It's a balance, though, isn't it? Um, uh, in this situation, what we're seeing is the football club bringing in all the revenues, but then the revenue's been cascaded down into other companies within the Oyston uh, Empire. We're all here at Football Fans, and we want to see the money that the football club's earned spent where it should be, and that's over there at Blackpool Football Club. Neither Carl nor Owen Oyston would comment on the allegations. Although Blackpool fans want answers, they'd probably settle for a few more players so they can at least start the season with enough to field a team. Kieran Jenkins, Channel 4 News, Blackpool.